Bitcoin is still trading inside of this downtrend, failing to be breaking above. But right now in the short term, Bitcoin is creating a new ascending triangle. So a huge breakout is going to be inevitable. We need to be talking about that exactly. Are we still going to be seeing this Bitcoin bounce from of this level of support? That and much more. So can we once again push up the likes back up after 100 likes? That will be absolutely amazing. And as always, let's have a look into what's a short term. And yes, like I've been saying yesterday, Bitcoin is still trading inside of this huge downtrend. This is definitely not looking very good. But at the other side as well, on these larger time frames, it is looking very much like we are about to see a big bounce. And in my opinion, for that big bounce to really come, we just need to be breaking back above this level of resistance, which is going to be that previous high. And if we are going to be breaking above that previous high, I think that that bounce is going to be getting confirmed. Now, right now, in the short term as well, we are getting another signal confirming this with this ascending triangle. Now, it is going to be very important for Bitcoin for that short term to actually bounce from off this level of support. If we are going to be falling down below, well, this ascending triangle is going to be getting invalidated very quickly. We have been seeing one and two touch points. Right now, we are trying to create our third touch point, which we exactly do need in order for this ascending triangle to be getting confirmed. So yeah, first of all, we need to be seeing this bounce. If we are going to be seeing this bounce, well, then a big breakout is going to be inevitable today. And yes, if this third touch point is actually going to be getting confirmed, I think that we are going to be seeing this breakout towards the upside. And in the case of breaking towards the upside, we are not only going to be breaking above this level of resistance, no, also on this chart, we are going to be breaking above that previous high, breaking our downtrend, back in towards an uptrend in that short term. And at that point, I think we are going to be seeing this bigger bounce. Now, anyways, having a look into that official price target, well, we can be easily measuring it like this. And if we were to be breaking out towards the downside, in that case, we do have that downside price target sitting back at this low at the 58.7K level. Now, if we are going to be breaking this one out towards the upside, we do have a massive price target sitting all the way at the 65K level. So yes, this is going to be a massive decision point for Bitcoin. Are we going to be seeing our third touch point being created? And are we still going to be seeing this Bitcoin bounce from of this very important level of daily support? Because yes, on that larger time frame, Bitcoin is just trading on a very important level of daily support. And I do believe that Bitcoin is just kind of ranging between these levels until Ultimately, we are going to be seeing either this breakout towards the upside or towards the downside. And that is going to be the deciding factor if we are going to be seeing the next move towards the downside being created or another bounce towards the upside and once again retesting these highs. So yeah, are we still going to be seeing this massive bounce? Well, definitely on that larger time frame, Bitcoin is just uh, still consolidating. And as long as we are going to be holding this level of support, I do think that we are still looking bullish. And if we are going to be breaking down below, well, of course, in that case, we need to be looking at lower targets getting reached. In that case, I'm going to be having a look in towards the 52.7K. But right now, in my opinion, we shouldn't really be worried about that. We are still holding this massive level of support for Bitcoin, this trend line on top of that also this ascending support we are still holding it also this bullish divergence this hidden bullish divergence is currently being created signaling that strength is once again coming in but the one thing which is worrying me quite a bit is that this structure for bitcoin is actually looking kind of weak of course bitcoin has been creating this double top formation with lower highs each and every single time and with these equal bottoms with this level of support so yeah if we are going to be falling down below well in that case we should definitely have a look into its lower targets getting reached but that is just whenever we are going to be breaking below this level of support, then we should be having a look into what's this level getting reached. And in my opinion, not really right now. I mean, in my opinion, we are still looking quite bullish with the Bitcoin funding rates still trading negative. Also still with that majority of the Bitcoin liquidity sitting at the top side. In my opinion, this is not going to be the time 
to be getting worried right now in my opinion as long as we are going to be holding our level of support we are still going to be looking quite bullish and i'm still going to be expecting this bitcoin bounce now if we are going to be falling down below that's the point where we should start to get worried so yeah this is currently the moment where i am buying right now over on bybit on that larger time frame we are just creating a huge weekly consolidation so yeah whenever you are in doubt just zoom out and whenever you are zooming out you can just be seeing that in that larger time frame bitcoin is still looking quite good on the bitcoin rsi this is currently the moment to be buying because currently the rsi is sitting below 30 and each and every single time whenever this has happened in this bull market it has been generally a very good buying opportunity and once again it has been signaling that exact bitcoin bottom i think that bitcoin is getting very close towards bottoming out right now we can still be seeing a loss push towards the downside but that would just mean we are going to be creating a bullish divergence in my opinion and that will be the ultimate bottoming out signal and then i would be buying the dip hard i think that we are getting very close towards that bitcoin bottom so yeah i am buying right now i am opening up positions and if you are going to be getting interested in doing that yourself as well definitely make sure to be checking out that link down below because over on bybit you can right now be claiming a 40,000 US dollar deposit bonus and Bybit is definitely my preferred exchange. Now, if Bybit is not going to be available in your country, definitely make sure to check out these other options down below. But anyways, yes, on that monthly time frame, we should still be a little bit more worried because these two candles are not looking very good in my opinion. These two candles look, look like topping out candles. Now, what we need to be seeing is that for this end of this month, Bitcoin pushing a little bit higher. If we are still going to be closing at, let's say, the 66k level, it's still going to be looking a lot better than currently. Because if we are going to be closing like this, in my opinion, it is going to be looking rather a little bit more bearish. So yeah, it is going to be very important for Bitcoin to still push towards the upside in these last few days of this month. So let's see what is going to be happening with Bitcoin in that imminent short term. I will be keeping you guys up to date on my Twitter profile. So definitely make sure to be following me over on there. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.